nobles with a tie that's oddly close to their butler. Ooh, yaoi review. So today we're going to go ahead and talk about a yaoi that is called Blue Morning. Blue Morning is by Shoka Hidaka. Okay, uh, Hadaka. No, it's Hidaka. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read the back for you and we're going to delve into it. At only 10 years old, Akihito Kuz suddenly inherits the Kuz vice countship after his father's death. The family's capable butler, Tamayuki Katsuguri, Kasaguri Gurigi, takes over the task of raising the boy, serving as his tutor. However, the handsome and intelligent Katsuragui, I'm always going to say that wrong, will respect even, well respected even among aristocracy, remains cool to cool towards his charge. Akihito finds himself relentlessly drawn to Katsuragui, frustrated by the distance between them and driven to discover the reason why. Um, this one's rated M for mature, which means 18 plus, roughly. Um, it has explicit content, and it's middle ground for me. I like this. I like dry British romance, which is what this reminds me of in a lot of ways. I do... I'm on the fence about recommending it. I, if you like dry stories that are drawn out kind of dramas, like this one, I think it goes up to seven, eight volumes, I think. Um, I do, I did actually enjoy it. And I want to get the second one just to see if the story evolves faster than it did. Like, the artwork's gorgeous. I mean, just to jump, but the artwork is gorgeous. It is very pretty to look at. It takes you to kind of like Victorian-ish England. I... I love Victorian dramas, British Victorian dramas quite a bit. So I can see where the story is evolving and what's happening in the story. But I want to see exactly what's going to happen. It gives us a lot of questions that are unanswered. Like, what exactly is the butler's tie to the family? Why does he not look like any of the rest of his biological family? Why does he refuse to see his biological family, even though his father is dying? And it's very interesting. Towards the end of the book... We only get two sex scenes in this entire thing, and they're not really that explicit, but they're very emotionally provocative. They keep you interested. The first one isn't an entirely willing sex scene, but the butler says he'll do a, how whatever his master orders. So it's really an intense kind of thing to take in all at once, but it was so tastefully done and within the context of the story that it was worth it. I... Three out of five stars, just to be blunt. Three out of five. I think after the second one, I'll probably increase it because the story will be, just like with most Victorian dramas, more developed that I'm actually interested. So as far as getting it for your collection, if you like a more drama-filled, kind of dry British romance, I recommend getting it. I, I would actually recommend getting this one. But it isn't a must-have for me. But if you fall into that dry British romance kind of thing, like Pride and Prejudice, I would recommend it. So yeah, you guys, shoot me a like, a favorite, a subscription, give me a whole bunch of love down in the comments, ask me questions, whatever you want, and I will be sure to respond back to you guys. All right, you guys, bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!